Welcome back to my garage. I've stumbled upon some obstacles for further dyno testing. So I will show you in a minute. Uh, that's... Uh, nah, I'll just show you immediately. So, uh, problem number one. The EGT sensor has uh, crapped out. Connection, it has broken, the wire has broken inside the sensor, so I will have to get a new one. My battery died. I tried this uh, jump starter, 6 amp hour uh, lithium battery, which seems to be in bad shape after having the pump run for an hour, which is 1 amp. It was down at 11.3 uh, 11, uh, 11 volts. So I'll just remove that, have to remove that one. In the last dyno session, I had some um, misfires at high RPM. And that's probably because the uh, uh, the main voltage had dropped to uh, a little bit above 11 volts. Uh, so I think a solution here is to run higher battery voltage just to get some headroom. So I know it's not uh, misfiring because of the ignition or it's not stalling out or not revving out because of the ignition. As I talked about in the short video, last one I made, I'm wondering if it's possible to drive the coil with a uh, separate battery with common ground to the battery powering the ignition unit because the ignition unit can only... I said 13 volts in the last video, it's actually 14 volts but it, that's maximum supply voltage for the ignition, ignition unit. I wanted to use a 14.8 volt uh, LiPo to power, power the coil. Uh, I can't use that to power the ignition unit so I would think you know you're using two batteries not sure if that's a uh, that's possible. I have to read up on that one. I talked to PowerSpark and as they are going to send me a new test unit of the new product with uh, 8 uh, RPM points instead of 4 in the current one. Uh, they are also uh, changing the regulator in that unit. I don't know if, it, if it's for all the units or just the one I'm getting. But uh, they are changing it so it can accept higher uh, supply voltage. And then I can run both the coil and the ignition unit from uh, say a 14.8 LiPo or even higher, maybe. Uh, the well is glued up again. I think I'm going to put it back on. Uh, I've changed to a 105 main jet, so I'm basically just reset to not the last time session, but the one before that. And what I think I'll just go back to go back to the settings I had on that dyno session, uh, get a baseline run, and then start playing with the ignition. So I can't, I can't really, I, <laughs> I haven't got the money to buy a new uh, EGT probe and I've, it's kind of dangerous to continue dyno testing without it, so I have to get that before I can do any more uh, dyno testing. Also I need a battery, preferably one with a little bit higher voltage than a standard 12 volt battery. I think the PowerSpark unit will accept at least, it says 14 volts, could probably push that a bit, so so that brings us to what I'm doing now, because I, as I can't afford, as I can't afford to buy a lipo battery, even if a uh, smallish lipo uh, for 14.8 lipo battery isn't that expensive, but I haven't got any money for it now, anyways. I've disassembled three old laptop batteries. As you can see from my fingers, the, um, the tabs, the, um, the soldered on tabs are very sharp, so if you're going to disassemble these bat uh, battery units yourself, uh, be careful. But anyways, I'm going to check the voltage on all of them and uh, see if, if there's some here with around, I don't know, 3.5, 3.6 volts, then or 3.3 maybe is the limit, I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is quite a, it's out of my league, but... Uh, I'll at least try if, if there's someone with one volt or two volts, then they're destroyed, I think. And I'll read up on the testing uh, lithium batteries and do further testing with the cells that are, or to me, seems okay. So that's what I'll do now. And if I'm lucky and there's enough cells here to build up a, uh, uh, will be a four cell battery, and they are. 2.25 amp hours, so should be sufficient to drive the ignition. Then I will try with a homemade LiPo battery. I will also have to get a charger. 
now I'll just measure the cells and I'll bring you back when I've measured them all uh, with the results of how many are good and how many are bad. There was eight batteries that are uh, from 2.5 volts and down to 2 volts. So they're probably bad. But there's also eight batteries that are from 3.8 volts and down to 3.3 volts. And I think those are good. And that means that if I'm lucky and uh, the eight batteries I've got here, or eight cells I've got here are good, I have enough to make up a... 14.8 uh, volts for cell, uh, for 4.4 amp hour battery. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, hopefully, I. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, maybe not the most interesting episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. And maybe next time I'll have some more interesting content. Who knows?